Sister cities no more. And the mayor of Osaka, Japan, is ending a six decade relationship with San Francisco. He is furious that the city is officially accepting a statue paying tribute to the comfort women who were forced into sexual slavery by the Japanese military in World War II. KPI X5's Melissa Kane is at that statue in St. Mary's Square. Melissa? Yeah, Alan, we're here at the Comfort Women Memorial in San Francisco. Now, when this statue was unveiled about a month ago, this whole area was private land. But in, because of an unrelated transaction, this whole area just became public land. And that means that's a public statue, an expression of the citizens of San Francisco. And that change of facts is what has the mayor of Osaka threatening to sever sister city ties with San Francisco. You would say it's just a statue. However, I think that we can see from all of the stuff that's gone on around statues in this country about the Confederacy, how important statues are. Judith Merkinson is the president of the Comfort Women Justice Coalition. She says Japanese leaders deny that they enslaved women for sex during World War II, claiming that women weren't coerced or that the numbers were very small or worse. This all started actually in 2013. The then mayor of Osaka, Hashimoto, said that actually it was right to have comfort women, that soldiers needed comfort women. The San Francisco Board of Supervisors condemned those comments and in 2015 decided to build a statue to honor comfort women. Every step of the way, the mayor of Osaka and other Japanese officials have gone to various officials here. They called the Park and Recs Commission. They called the Arts Commission. The statue, which shows a Korean, Filipina, and Chinese woman, was unveiled last month. But on Wednesday, San Francisco Mayor Ed Lee made it official. The statue is now on public land. And Hirofumi Yoshimura, the mayor of Osaka, says he's moving to sever ties with San Francisco as a sister city. Now, Hiroka Matsura is from Osaka. She says Yoshimura is right. I think, like, you know, the Osaka mayor did a really good job, you know, from the Japan side. She says Japan has done enough. And saying sorry and stuff, so and they are still, you know, saying stuff and we're giving them money every year and it never goes away. You know what? I wish this would end too. The victims, this long search for justice for them is so tiring. Julie Tang is a retired judge and the co-chair of the Comfort Women Justice Coalition. The Japanese government as a whole with the diet which is the official government has never issued an official apology. Now it's unclear whether the mayor of Osaka will actually follow through with his threats. We've learned that the city is trying to be awarded the World Expo in 2025 and there's some concern that picking a fight with San Francisco over this issue will bring unwanted attention to that city preventing it from being awarded the World Expo. Live in San Francisco, Melissa Kane, KPIX5.